I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to another video? This is another Patreon review, this time from Marv B. Who are my thoughts on the series finale of Breaking Bad called Felina? Now, like I've said in quite a few of the videos, I'm open to pretty much pretty much any type of request, video-wise, whether it be a movie topic or a review of a movie or episode, whatever. Feel free to send a request either by joining my Patreon or send a request directly via my PayPal. Links to both are down in the info box. If not, no worries. But if so, thank you. But um, I did review and see the first episode of Breaking Bad, which was another request. It's a bit... It was a little bit confusing seeing the finale since I have not seen anything else in between. So there's certain characters that I didn't know who they were and how they fit into the story. So I don't know how good this review will be considering I have not seen any of... I mean, the only episode I've seen is the very first episode of season one. Why I liked it, I didn't see the rest of it because I just don't have the time to see five years of a show I believe it's five seasons and then I watched this finale I probably would have gotten more out of it if I had seen all the way through as is it was fine I mean I did maybe if I grew up with it like other people I'd be blown away it was fine Brian Cranston he seems really good in the show. He seems like the MVP, the heart of the show. Where he plays Walter White, this guy. I remember in the first episode, he had an illness. He was dying. So he said, fuck it. I have this little time left. I'm going to start making drugs. And then this other guy, played by Aaron Paul, to help me sell this drugs and become... A, uh, well, I don't know if dealer is the right word, but the Walter White that people know about. <laughs> and then cut to here, he's got a even more of a thicker beard than I do. I, for one, I understand the dialogue. He's been on the run. I guess some people think he's dead. And then Aaron Paul, I guess he tried to tried to kill Aaron Paul or have him killed but he's alive so I, I don't know why that happened that's why I mean it was a bit confusing why I was a bit confused as to why this all happened like okay why did he try to kill Aaron Paul and okay now he's alive and he's he's got a full beard and he's like chained up working with these other drug guys I mean the episode itself is pretty much Spoilers. 
this couple who I don't know who they are, he goes to their house and says, my family doesn't want to see me, but I have this money and I want you to give it to my son on his 18th birthday and say, you're giving it on your behalf, this, these millions of dollars. If you don't, and he threats them by, I hired a bunch of hitmen and there's these laser sightings to steer them into keeping the promise. But I thought it was fun that afterward we find out that it was two of his buddies, Brian Prance's buddies, and they were laser pointers. <laughs> so there was no guns at all, it was just laser pointers that they <laughs> threatened him with. I thought that was rather clever. He starts meeting with some folks, some of them I don't know. This one lady, I like this cafe. Then sees his wife, I guess ex-wife, and one kid sleeping. He watches from afar his older boy. He builds his rig up in the trunk of his car, which was pretty cool. He took this machine gun, he put it at the trunk of his car, it has it rigged up. And you wonder, okay, what the hell is he going to do with that? Well, he's got a plan. I guess he knows that he's on his last ends and he's, in a way, says goodbye to his, his wife. Getting his last revenge on the people he needs to. Goes into this drug lab with all these other guys. Finds Aaron Paul there, and they obviously have a lot of friction. Because I, again, I guess Walter White wanted Aaron Paul dead before. Again, I don't know why. And then he has a button. He tackles Aaron Paul down, and that machine gun in the trunk is a trap. And do, 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 fucks up the entire fucking place. Kills pretty much everybody and yeah he's been Brian Cranes has been hit kills the the last bad guy as he's in the middle of his James Bond wannabe speech you know that pretty much all villains of James Bond must do a long ass speech Brian Cranston kills him in the middle of it so that was fun Brian Cranston Aaron Paul have these kind of looks with each other Aaron Paul leaves, Walter White lays down, there's almost like a semblance of a smile as he dies before the tops come. So I guess he, in a way, he won. He was dying in the beginning of the, he was dying in the first episode. He had a couple years. He made millions of dollars for his family. I was ready for the song, and I did it my way. I was surprised they didn't have that song. I'm really surprised, but being as being as the fact that I was confused as what was going on, I didn't know what was going on from time to time, like certain characters are why things were they were way they were even with that I didn't mind it as in the acting was good Brian Cranston solid work I just saw I just reviewed a film a week or so ago called The Upside which I liked him in I think Brian Cranston's a good actor Seen the first and last episode, it doesn't make me want to run out to see Breaking Bad, especially now that I know how it ends. But one day, maybe, it's just I'm so busy with stuff, and what I realize with this show, it's not a lot of stuff happening. Just even with the first episode, and this, this, this it, it feels like there's not a lot happening. But I mean, that's the point is about the characters and the situation. Like the, the stuff I described, it seems like something that would be in a 20 minute, not a f 55 minute <laughs> episode. Um, 
and that's the thing like it, it does feel as if all this could have been done in like a 25 minute instead of a 55 minute but even at less than an hour it's getting a little bit antsy like okay well this is your bid finale but maybe that was the point that they don't go too big over the top maybe that, again not, I'm a newbie I'm a newbie on it but yeah, I mean, Brian Cranston did a good job. The actors did their jobs fine. You know, Walter White. Oh yeah, there's another person that he actually uh, poisoned, which I guess she was a bitch. I'm guessing. I think I missed out on something because of being confused half the time. But it is what it is, and I... It was fine. It was fine. I just. That's really all I can say. Brian Cranston rocks. He did a good job. And I don't really know what else to say. It seemed fairly straightforward to the point. And it was what it was. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.